मेरे इनका सेशन लग रहा था तो मेरे मीर सब्रीना Hello everyone. I see that you are coming into the room to hear our next amazing featured speaker and her name is Sabrina Von Nessen. She was a passionate entrepreneur and leader with 20 years of experience in the finance and IT industry. In more than 15 years as a leader, she has discovered and cultivated her enthusiasm for technology in the same way as her deep passion for emotional leadership. She believes high performance and thus success starts in the mind of the individual, in their emotions and their beliefs. As head of product management, head of IT and head of marketing up to C level, her biggest learning was it all starts with why. When people break learn barriers, I mean boundaries, great things emerge. The conviction and the great curiosity helps her build companies, teams and processes. The title of this amazing featured speaker's talk will be Rules of Success from Personal Transformation to High Performance and we are indeed anticipating your discussion today. Sabrina, please take it away. Yeah, well, welcome everybody and thank you very much for the invitation. I'm very impressed by the positive energy of the conference and the variety of topics that are dealt with with great motivation. So, it's a wonderful opportunity to share and learn from one another. Today let's talk about how personal transformation can lead to high performance. Do you feel stuck in a hamster wheel from which there seems no escape? Are you getting a little closer to burnout every day? And instead, would you like to embrace each new day and its opportunities and live with pride and confidence? Well, today we'll discover how to get closer to our dreams, escaping helplessness and meaninglessness. So, who's talking to you today? Well, something. Now, oh, here we are. <laughs> well, I'm a passionate entrepreneur and leader with more than 20 years of experience in the finance and IT industry. And in nearly 20 years as a leader, I really discovered and cultivated my enthusiasm for technology in the same way as my deep way my my deep passion for emotional leadership. I'm an entrepreneur, business mentor, keynote speaker and author and in my private life I have a patchwork family with two grown-up kids and a chronically ill horse. Let's say my life is lovely and colorful as well as a bit chaotic. My scientific research focuses on leadership, entrepreneurship and emotions. There's a famous saying by Albert Einstein who said i dread the day when technology trumps our humanity there will be only one generation of idiots left in the world this is why i combine both worlds my biggest learning was it all starts with why because when you break learned boundaries then great things can happen i believe that high performance and success starts in our mind in our emotions and beliefs and because i'm very very curious as well i was successful in building companies teams and processes your transformation is a genuine concern for me because i can feel your pain on the outside i'm a very successful entrepreneur however my inner life has been a roller coaster ride I grew up in a rural working class family that was characterized by hopelessness and the belief that it was everyone else's fault and that we as workers could never be successful or happy. Life was hard and had to be that way. 
at the same time, I was not only introverted, but also very shy. Throughout my childhood and adolescence, I was eager to hide my complex thoughts about society or nature and my personality because I felt like a mistake, like a failure in the system. And everybody else seemed to behave similarly. So I tried to adjust and escaped into my inner world so that others would not notice my peculiarity, but would accept me as one of them. At the same time, I strongly felt the need to escape, escape the system and the provincial world. I wanted to enjoy my life, to find like-minded people and to find more about the world. However, it seemed you needed a whole lot of money to pursue these goals. Therefore, I sought my fortune in a steep career in the finance ind industry. And in just a few years, discipline, perseverance and persistence got me to that goal. My primary motivator was anger. Anger at everyone who kept me down. And even though this anger gave me strength to fight against resistance, it also led to strange beliefs. Control is important. Blame is on others. Stress only affects underachievers. Critics are envious. And the unpleasant side effect I no longer felt insignificant, but invincible. As my career grew, so did my ego. Well, to make a long story short, the universe abruptly slowed me down. On the peak point of my career, I had founded a company and inexperienced as I was, I relied on the wrong advisors and didn't make proper contracts. So sooner than I knew it, I had made a mess of my life. In my late 20s, I remorsefully moved back in with my parents. There was not much left of my ego, but an enormous mountain of debts and a big emotional emptiness inside me. Threatening questions arose. Happiness. How does that feel? Who are you? When your mask falls, when you no longer can count on the insignia of power, again, everything was hopeless and painful. When I overcame self-pity for the first time, I thought about my why and my personality. What should people say about me at the end of my life? What values do I want to stand for? This pattern helped me get back on my feet. I found inspiration and impetus in outstanding celebrities and real nobodies. To get back on the sunny side of my life, I soaked up hacks and insights. And I discovered that Barack Obama also describes himself as an introvert, that Ruth Bader Ginsburg had suffered multiple blows of fate and yet had straight gone her way. That it's probably not so much a matter of falling down, but of getting back up again. And I have the guilt and thus also the power to change my life. The responsibility actually lies within me. So what is success to you? Times are changing. You only have to think back a year or two to see how things have shifted. And you're changing with them, whether you realize it or not. Think for a moment about the goals you have right now compared to the goals you made the last time the new year rolled around. Are they still the same? Have you had to adjust your expectations? You're probably still looking for success, but is it the same vision you had before? The more I searched and asked, the more people connected with me. Without me realizing it, a network of like-minded people on a similar journey grew. And because of their diversity, I realized that there is a place on earth for all of us. I understood that the 
rough edges of our personalities like scars tell the experiences and adventures of our, of our lives. We are unique and this makes us successful. Step by step, a feeling of peace arose as if by magic I suddenly attracted, attracted positive people and experiences. I met people who felt responsibility towards society and who connected on a deeper level. In this intense period of examining my personality, I learned to understand and love my characteristics, my need for change, especially when it happens in silence. The belief that behind every resistance and pain, there's the potential for growth. My talent to see the beauty in the hidden and the strange and unexplainable. My intuition, which for me weighs far more than facts. And I finally found my true vision. I will use this hard-won knowledge to help those who cannot help themselves. My goal is to ensure that strategies, thoughts, and emotions are in harmony. I want to empower and enable people so that they find and manifest their vision of life. So learn to trust yourself and find like-minded people. Successful people understand their strength, weaknesses, and uniqueness. You should know yourself best and proudly present the real you, always challenging it. If you believe you can and act as if you can, you will achieve your goal. Tools like visual, I'm sorry, visualization, positive affirmations, or a mentor can help to create a more confident you. Be aware that successful people don't walk alone as they won't get far. So look for like-minded people to support you and role models who have already successfully reached the goal you want. You will find courage in tough hours, but also knowledge and insights. So to sum up, my best advice for you is to get to know yourself on a deep level. Try to understand what you think, feel, and are. Learn to accept your personality as weird as it may be. Go ahead with confidence and the belief that you are right as you are and that you can build on your strength. Because then, no matter what struggles and burdens you may have in your life, you will have the power to overcome them and make a difference in our society. Successful people are fearless, but Fearlessness doesn't mean you're entirely without fear. It's the refusal to cave into fear and make it your master. The fearless individual charge ahead with passion and self-assurance, knowing that even if they fail, they're not going to be crushed by it. Failure is nothing more than discovering a way that didn't work. Successful people are Great at networking. People look for authenticity above all else. So relationships are more important than contacts. People are willing to go the extra mile for those they perceive as empathic and real. So there's still value in who you know, but the depth of the interaction counts for a lot more. Successful people stay positive. Oh. Positive people tend to see the possibilities, come up with more creative solutions and are less likely to give up when things get tough. So it's highly valued and has expanded to include affirmations and positive self-talk. There's clear scientific proof that these aspects of positivity are beneficial in achieving your goals. But successful people also believe in themselves. Positive self-talk is not quite the same thing as self-belief. Self-belief is having confidence in your ability to get things done. 
to succeed, you need to know yourself thoroughly and have worked through the, is the issues which lead to a negative self-image. Only by coming to accept yourself, you can find the real confidence which leads to success. Successful people practice gratitude. Gratitude is often overlooked, but studies have shown that people who express gratitude tend to be more optimistic in general and perform better. Gratitude is linked to authenticity and vulnerabil vulnerability as you acknowledge that you didn't make it all on your own and you're grateful for the help you've received along the way. Successful people take responsibility. Those who take responsibility for themselves are breaking away from the stereotype of entitlement. It signals that you're in control of your destiny. If you're in charge of your acti actions, you're also in charge of your achievements and your success. So habits of success are not exclusive to the rich and famous. They are valuable habits that can enrich your life regardless of the circumstances. If you want a happy and fulfilling personal and professional life, you need to cultivate these habits today. You might say, well, I don't know my vision yet. I don't know what it may be. In this case, you may want to ask yourself, what would you like to do every day? What do you talk about all the time? And other people also seek advice about that. I'm convinced that every life needs a purpose, but not every task we have to accomplish every day has to answer this why. However, it's very easy to get caught in the daily necessities. This is why successful people are goal setters. Being able to set a clear and attainable goal is gold. Modern goals need to take on a deeper meaning. Goals should be more than what you hope to accomplish for yourself. They need to be framed in a bigger context. What do they mean to you? and the world around you. Goals reflect the motivation as much as the result. Find and visualize your North Star. A personal vision can guide you and keep you on track just like a North Star. It allows you to change your outlook on life and create novel approaches. Align all activities with your goal. Make sure that they pay into your goal at all times. Prioritize and focus on the important tasks, not the urgent ones. Figure out when your most productive time is and make sure you can, wake, you can work on your important tasks in that slot. Because successful people take action. Without action, you can become lost in a world of dreams and good intentions. But action is more than pushing or striving to get ahead. Action demonstrates what you've learned. And in doing so, you may show perseverance. Because success requires unwavering faith, but mostly work and effort. And manifestation and spirit creates hope and confidence, but implementation creates success. So Ultimately, you will only find your success and happiness if you try. You will not find a solution for yourself by studying alone. Dare to look into the future with full confidence and move step by step towards your goal. I wish you every success in this endeavor and a little luck. If you would like me to be your sparring partner on this journey, please contact me. My name is unique in the entire universe. It is as unique as your background, your goals, and your personal story. So I look forward to our conversation and thank you 
for being here today and for, for having me as a speaker. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so, so very much for your amazing presentation. And I might add, ooh, look at all the hand claps. <laughs> <laughs> I might add that you have a pleasant disposition. Your voice is very calming. And so I really appreciate that. And we need that calm, but yet uh, voice that actually can direct, uh, direct us in the proper way. And so I appreciate your authoritative, but it's in a good way. So uh, I, I really enjoyed the point where you talk about relationships are more than just contacts. That was staggering. And so right now, we're going to see that we have any comments from our audience. Um, great presentation, by the way. Great, great, great presentation. So Melinda, do we have any questions? Hi, Sabrina. I'm glad that I have attended your session today. And here is the question from our audience. How positive mindset will affect relationships in daily life? Oh, to, to many, uh, in many aspects and to a really great extent. If you, have, if you have a positive mindset, you will gather people around you that are like-minded and that pursue the same goal as you do. So you're not alone anymore and you have support along the way. At the same time, you may find that the people who yeah, accompanied you, accompanied you in the last years may not be right for you anymore. So it might be time to let them go and say thank you for our time together, but the, my journey will not be together with you anymore. I have new network and new people to surround me and to help me pursue my goal. That's fully okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for the valuable information. And, uh, and, and we have exhibitor booth set up. Please go and have a look. Please encourage our exhibitors. Thank you so much, Sabrina. Have a great day. Thank you for having me. Have a great day as well. Bye. Bye. Okay, Sabrina, thank you so much again. And also for everyone, <clears throat> excuse me, everyone, we are about to take a break. Yes, a 20 minute break. So this is your time for you to go get coffee, go get you a little snack, and then you come back in 20 minutes and we'll kick off with another speaker. So I'll see you in 20 minutes. Bye.